Hi, my name is Bern Zakowski with Esri, and joining me here today is Nate Strout from the University of Redlands. Welcome, Nate. Thank you, Bern. Glad to see you here. It's glad to be here. I understand that you're doing some really interesting things at the university. You've been doing a special project for the Grove School. Can you tell us a little bit about them? Grove School is really interesting. It's a, it's a public charter school. It's actually located on a park that's being newly developed. So this is really a kind of a, a pretty vibrant piece of land and, and then nothing's really been mapped. So uh, what we want to do is, is see how we could get our introduction to GIS students over there to give them some real kind of hands-on experience. Uh, we started off by collecting a bunch of data with the students all, created some data schemas, uh, made feature classes and added a bunch of attributes, published those as web maps so that we could um, use Collector. We brought a, a drone with us as well and flew and got some kind of sub-centimeter resolution photography so that we could kind of enhance those maps, do some better uh, digitizing on top of that. We actually did use drone to map to, to process all that imagery. Really then we were trying to figure out what products that they could make that were going to be actually useful. So tell me more about service learning and how would you define that? Well, uh, service learning is really learning through community service. Uh, so in GIS, I really think of that as, um, you know, we've empowered the students with these new concepts and these new tools. They, they see the implications of the projects that they're doing and, um, and, and get excited about them. That's great. So at a personal level, uh, what excites you as uh, representing a university in a large GIS program? What excites you about GIS and where it's heading today? It's opening up the technology, it's making it a lot easier for, uh, to, for people to use that aren't necessarily experts in it, but the expertise is still very much needed. It used to be very focused on the geographers and the environmental scientists, but it's now kind of uh, been fully embraced by programs across the board. People coming in looking at it from a different angle are now able to, to, to really get their hands on it and do some really great things uh, without necessarily being experts in it. That's great. We appreciate the work you do and thanks for joining us here today. Thank you very much.